like, oh, I just said twice, so that's it, I failed. I failed. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today it's going to be totally different. Like, it's not going to be a DIY video or tutorial. One reason why I felt like I was ready for it is I kept doing the test and then when you feel like, all right, okay, I'm getting nine out of 10 or eight out of 10, then you feel like you're ready, then you can book your test. So I did the theory test first before doing my practical. So um, practical test wise, I did 30 hours lesson. So what I did was I was doing an hour lesson anytime I had a lesson. And then I did two lessons in a week. So, what I did was I paid in bulk, I paid like 10 hours, I was paying like every, like for 10 hours, so at least the money was there, so I was just like, just telling the lady, alright, I'm going to do two this week, three next week, two this week, three next week, something like that, so I feel, feel like another thing is sometimes some people like, start doing it and then they don't have money and then, then they will not do it for another month or so. I think that kind of puts you off. If you want to do it, as soon as you start, just just go for it. Literally, just go for it. If you're doing on and off, that doesn't help really. Um, like I said, I did 30 hours of lessons. And when I booked my lesson, it got cancelled because of the pandemic. So after that, did my test. Test day my driving instructor said to me we'll do the emergency break-in we'll do the show me tell me questions we'll do the backward bay parking which i wasn't too confident with i've only did i've only done that one once so i really i was like do you know i need to do that i need to do the backward bay parking please i don't feel confident every other maneuvers i feel confident with but except the backward bay parking and i was like all right we'll do it on the day before your test <laughs> I was like oh my god so I felt like this amount of pressure like I was saying to myself I've always done an hour lesson so on the day of my test doing an hour lesson prior to the test I felt like I was I'm gonna be driving for two hours I've never driven for up for, up for more than an hour I'm like I am going to struggle this is gonna be a big problem so that that made me to start panicking on the day of the test my panic level my stress level was 100 like it was that high trust me it's not for the fainted hearted people you can't don't even try it if you feel like you can't take the pressure don't try it like for me having like the thought that somebody is going to be inspecting how i drive that just made me feel so stressed like i was so so stressed my hour lesson that i had prior to the test I was just making mistakes like I was like proper shaking and my instructors just said to me do you know what you can do it I know you can do it so like it's very important you have the right in, um, instructor someone that have confidence in you someone is your instructor is there telling you I don't feel like you're ready that doesn't help so I did my test and I did the independent driving first, which was for 20 minutes using sat nav that I wasn't confident with. But I, at this point in time, I just said to myself, do you know what? <laughs> There's no going back. It's either I'm going to do it or I don't. But I always had this positive mindset. Like when I started the driving test, that like, this is it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because when I saw the, the um, inspector guy, he looked like somebody I knew. So I just said to myself, right, okay, so I'm just going to pretend like this is the person that I know. So I'm just giving him a, uh, I'm just giving him a lift. So anyway, so that's the kind of mindset I had. So that made me kind of feel calm as well. And then obviously I prayed. So started driving. I, I put the sat nav on. I drove for 20 minutes. Everything was fine. He kept stopping me. Like, can you stop by the side of the road? Sometimes when they tell you, can you stop by the side of the road? People just panic and just like, all right, who wants me to stop now? I don't think it's like that. I think like, you need to take your time, check your mirrors, indicate, make sure it's a safe place to stop. Don't just stop because you've been told to stop. 
so that's another thing that makes people fail and then sometimes people like kind of overthink like some people think like oh i've just i've just stalled now i think i've already failed so the minute they have that in their mindset that's it straight away like don't just forget it like i've failed already so i'm just gonna drive myself back to the test center no sometimes it's just a minor it's not even a serious thing so again down to this it's your mindset you need to be positive you need to be positive for you to pass that test so anyways whilst we're coming back after doing 20 minutes of independent driving coming back he was like all right okay um can you show me how you beep your horn <laughs> yes that's easy i can do that yeah and then my tell me question that came up was like how do you know that there's no problem with the um brake so i explained it to him so show me tell me question they've got plenty of videos like during the lockdown when my lesson stopped one thing that helped me was youtube videos they've got plenty of youtube videos on how to drive trust me that will help you a lot like self kind of self taught yourself like learn don't just wait for lessons and whilst you're having like your lesson with your instructor there's so much that you can learn by watching other videos they've got like people doing mock test videos on youtube there's so many of them that i watched on things that i didn't feel confident with so when it was time for me to drive i get in the car my instructor just said to me do you know what whatever you you you've been doing is working so continue doing it because if it, it looks like your your um your confidence has been built up so that was some other things that helped me personally i don't know sometimes some people learn differently everybody is different everybody is different so anyways whilst we're coming back i was like oh my god i've not done any maneuvers yet when i'm when can you not can you not make me just do the parallel parking i feel confident with that or forward bay parking and we started coming back and then five minutes towards getting to the test center i just i just thought to myself oh my god i've not done any maneuvers please god i don't want to do backward bay parking i don't feel confident we got back to the test center it's like oh can you do backward bay parking <laughs> straight away i just said to myself that's it i failed i failed <laughs> <laughs> I just said to myself and then obviously because my instructor was waiting for me at the test center so she was also looking at me and then the pressure just went like that oh my god so I did the, the um, backward bay parking and I only stalled once whilst I was driving which was a um, minor so I only, I only made one mistake so yeah so that's my story like I said again you can do it go there with a positive mindset that you can do it whatever that you feel like is going to make you feel calm do it before you start your test like for me i prayed i had a different mindset about the inspector guy i just said right this guy is my friend i'm giving him a lift instead of me sitting there thinking oh it's somebody who is observing watching what i'm doing that would have made me feel more pressurized but no so like I said, it's up to you. Everyone learn differently. Like, I was ready for my test after 25 hours of having lessons. I just it ended up doing 30 because I just felt like, you know, instead of just sitting down in for a test day, I'll just do extra more lessons. So, everybody is different. Have a positive mindset that you can do it and you will do it. And all the best if you've not done your test yet. All the best. Like, you can do it. Just try and put all your track put all your efforts all your mind to it and you'll be able to do it i promise you so anyways take care guys bye